Well, hello. But we ain't doing now. Just on a, just going on a hastily organised. Well, camp. Looking to get in Chatsworth. Must get my car repaired. Anyway, on this occasion, it's me, Lynn, and I don't know whether Mark and TP might be able to make it. But weather's not the best. But there's no rain. Turn left onto North Lane. Very hastily prepared. I feel like I'm half dressed. I'm not actually sure. I've got on my camera gear. Um, I've got no food. I've got no drink. I can buy them on the way. Lee just dropped me a message about a campsite which we might go to. Because it's very last minute. We're not that used to wild camping in the Peak District. Turn left onto A58. So we'll see how it goes. Camera gets flying about everywhere. Anyway, there's going to be no chance of any astro stuff, no chance of any star trails in one mile or Milky Ways. About to take the second exit onto A58. But we're not really going for that. Road. We did that last weekend, and we'll be doing it again. At Spring Point Meets, which is in three weeks and four weeks, and then the Northumberland Meet, which is in five weeks. I'm sure Jackie will never watch this video but thanks very much Jackie. She's long suffering putting up with me and I was only away the previous weekend so to get another pass out is wonderful. The leaves are changing some wonderful yellows and greens and hopefully some reds. This road trace I'm going through now is fantastic. Got my new tent, or replacement tent, the last one broke, zip went, probably pilot error. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now, get to Lynn for about quarter past three, hopefully she'll be ready so we can head off out, half past three, get there for half past four-ish. In 1,000 feet, get the tent and pitched, around about to take the second exit. And see if we can find somewhere to go to, hopefully. There'll be satellite if there isn't. I'm sure Lynn will bring her Peak District book. Anyway, At I'm a little excited. The second exit so onto I will A58, Weatherby Road. Excuse the navigation. Catch you later. See ya. Good evening. Well, tent set up in the background. We're at a small campsite, so we're not actually wild camping on this occasion. Outside Bakewell, the actual camping area, as you can see, there's your two tents occupied by me and Lynn. Just near the entrance, there's a full campsite of caravans and campervans. Uh, warm reception by, warm welcome should I say, by Giles, who I believe is the son of the owner. It's quite airy, as you can see behind me. There are some renovations and they are expanding the site and right so it's got a lovely view. It's on a slight plateau, as you can see behind me. Photographically, not expecting an awful lot this weekend, from the sky at least, because it's blanket, white, bits of grey cloud, it's very, very slight drizzle, which wasn't predicted. However, 
the trees are starting to change as you can see around me wonderful yellows oranges golds which will prove to be extremely photogenic lovely rabbits around as well they did mention in the bar well and the reception area as we attended uh, it's a pound a pint tonight i've got two pound so i might have a drink or two later on we'll see how it goes up at five o'clock in the morning looking to head off for to chatsworth um for the sunrise which it's not going to happen because of the blanket cloud but you never know we might get a little hue of orange red uh, but if it doesn't happen we'll just point the cameras down uh, and get some trees I'm not sure there's any mist um, on the on the forecast that would be nice over the over the water we've got uh, a reservoir quite close by which we're going to go to photograph the cloud is supposed to be as I've said blanket the weather's supposed to be quite flat however there's supposed to be no getting lost no wind so that could make some very nice reflections indeed just brought the one lens the 24 to 70 uh, with a tripod D750 uh, I've just done a time lapse of setting the tent it's getting much easier now the Fox one it's a wonderful one person tent very quite small but a very nice tent indeed filters I've got the set the grads hard and soft a little stopper big stopper and I've just ordered a super stopper which is 15 stops uh, that should arrive in time for Sperm Point and Northumberland tree I'll show you in a second wonderful reds deep rich reds a couple of them in the forest will be very nice along with some water just about here yeah, a bit of drizzle just about to head off to get something to eat a uh, cold meal pasta and some biscuits with a drink and we're gonna head out to do some scouting Chatsworth and a few other places thanks again to Jackie if you ever see this it means a lot to me that you're so understanding uh, and you are uh, I was away last weekend I was away a couple of weekends before that I'm away in another three weeks to Spurn Point weekend after that I'm away in Northumberland yeah thanks again I do like being here it's very calm there's a road which is not too close but not a problem it's very quiet there's only two of us here yes time to uh, get prepared for tonight anyway see ya good morning currently around six o'clock and as usual it's a lot darker than it appears on the screen but getting brighter obviously quite quickly we're at Chatsworth House more specifically further up on the hill towards Swiss Cottage over my shoulder packed in a car park it's about a half an hour hike up the hill to a wandering path a live dap the lake which Lynn was rather disappointed that it wasn't full as it usually is. I'm not actually sure where the water's gone, although they are doing some irrigation work further down the way. Apart from the crinkling leaves, it's very quiet, very quiet, very peaceful here. You can actually rent the Swiss cottage out. I'm advised by Lynn who just checked at high season for six people. It's two and a thousand pounds per week which if you've got the money you can buy there's another place further down the ways it's it looks like a tower which you can rent which I might look into it would be very nice to rent that especially during the winter when it's been snowing that would be nice photographically there is some mist 
on the hills up there. It's getting heavier, but it doesn't even, it'd be good if it would roll down over the lake, but I don't think that's going to happen. It feels quite warm down here. I've looked at a few reflection shots just from over there, but you are limited because obviously the area of my shoulder is, is, is waterless. Leaves falling everywhere, ducks in the background. There's some lovely colour in trees. And there's not a bad shot of the cottage from here. However, that part's pretty nice with the reflection, but this part here spoils it a little. I've taken a few shots. I'm off reference than anything else. After this we are looking at going towards another lake which is just down the way. You probably can't see it through through the woods. The sky is very grey and white. There's not a lot in there and you struggle to get anything out of that in post-processing. But sometimes it's nice to be here and more of my photographic experiences are more about being here than the photograph. I must stand still. Yes, it's definitely coming in, but not down. It seems to be lowering down on the top of the mountains there, but it's not coming down enough to get on the lake. It's very strange weather. It's about 11 now, which touch in November is very peculiar. The tent held up better than it did last time when the zip broke. It's a Fox 1 BH or double X1. Nice tent. I'd like it to be if it was two inches longer it would be much better for me. And I'm not a tall bloke, I'm five foot seven. So if you're five foot eight, nine, ten or higher you're gonna struggle to get comfortable in there. Sleeping bag which is a spray away mummy variation, works well, wouldn't be that comfortable in the cold I feel so I might have to research and purchase a, a, a better one. The mat, whose name I don't recall and I will might do a review, is, I'll put a link down below as to what it is, is absolutely fantastic. wasn't cheap but it's fantastic and I got a little Trek Master, Trek Mate pillow, which is great as well. Um, I'm not trying to replicate the comforts and hope comforts of home as such, but you need to sleep. And the only problem I've experienced with a tent so far, apart from the first one's zip breaking, is the condensation on the inside of the outside um, shell. It's quite, it's quite heavy, and as I was putting me socks on this morning my knees touch the inside which touched the outside um, and resulted in some water coming through not coming through but being being on the inside which wasn't a help wasn't a problem you just don't touch it all in all nice camp nice campsite had a few berries last night feel okay this morning uh, so we're going to head off to a few other other places see what we can get sunrise will happen but there'll be no colour at all which is always a shame no big deal now, this is no wind so you can hear me um, I'm looking to invest in a, a better microphone especially for a lot of coastal areas it's difficult to hear with the wind sometimes and it can really spoil the video anyway I'm going to sign off now see what else I can do love the colours um, I'll catch you later. Okay, see ya.